I hope you're doing great. Today we're going to talk about American Pitbull Terriers, XL Bullies, why they're getting banned in the UK, and why I don't recommend any American Pitbull Terrier, any dog that is coming from some way of breeding American Pitbull Terriers at some level with some of the dogs, like the creation of the American Pit, uh, Bullies, XL Bullies, and creating dogs that get in trouble. American Pitbull Terriers are not 120 pound dogs. Those are very dangerous dogs all the time. The funny thing is that some of those dogs in America, they, don't, they still for a very long time didn't call them XL Bullies. They used to call them pit bulls. And those same dogs are the same dogs that used to bite people in America. They're still biting people in America, still killing people. And I'm not saying that all of them are doing it because that will be a lie. But some percentage of them do them and those make the news and create big problems. Uh, we always said it, these dogs are too powerful to be bred the wrong way. And once they bred the wrong way, you make them bigger in size and now you have a huge problem. Imagine that you have the, imagine that you have um, uh, these dogs in the backyard and somehow there are a fireman try to come into the back, to the back of the backyard to put up a fire in the neighbor's house or something like that. And he finds a 110 pounds, 120 pound dog, uh, 90 pound dog, fat dog, trained to attack people with genetics that are, came from you don't know where, that dog can hurt somebody really, really bad. So the XL bully is literally a mutt. It's not a, they call it a breed. Let me explain to you why they call it a breed. When you have enough people to rally behind something, you, we have this consensus, all these owners have vested interest to have these dogs call a breed because they want it, they desire it. And I know where they are because the first dog that I had was a mutt and I thought it was an American Pitbull Terrier and it broke my heart when I learned that he was not. And I went through loophole holes, so please, I want to find out. He's not, you see, you simply is not. And what happens is these registrations, oh, but he's registered with this and he's right. They created these registrations to register the MUDs bullies. They created them to facilitate a way for them to have a registration and became a boom business. So the traditional pit bull registries, when they saw this market, brand new market to sell registrations to people, say, why not? Why would? So they started registering those dogs and they say, we're going to give them a standard. There is this no functionality in these dogs. You see, this is one of the biggest lies. And this is exactly what I want you to know. This is one of the biggest lies when it comes to XL bullies and bullies in general. They say, we love the American Pit Bull Terrier drive. Uh, I love the, 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 when they're nice but we want to take off away from him the aggressiveness to all their dogs. And so you have, that's the basic idea of all their uh, fundamentals to all their conversation. It's like, we want to take the aggressiveness, you know, uh, people are aggressive towards people. They learned that from the media to, to start with. The dogs that they call pit bulls are not, they were never real pit bulls. They never seen real pit bulls. Real pit bulls are not aggressive towards people. people. So what they say, we want to take the drive away. They took the drive away, they took the courage away, they made it fatter, they took the athleticism away from them, they added muscles like a, some sort of bodybuilder that he cannot defend himself or even wipe his own butt. And what they created is these massive dogs that have a very powerful bite. They still have this spirit of when they grab something, they don't let it go, which is fun for playing games and stuff like that. But when they grab a human and they don't let it go, they kill the human. And so being 110 pounds, 150 pounds, 200 pounds, whatever they have them now creates a big problem. And you have all these beautiful YouTube channels and these women, uh, special effects, way better than I ever have. I just grabbed this camera, and started recording. And these people that they want to sell the dogs, they make these presentations. They have these crews, these camera crews. I saw a few of them in England, this lady talking with this British accent and with the, the Excel bully and the blah, blah, blah. She doesn't know nothing about the breed, the real breed, the American Pit Bull Terrier, and know very little about her own so-called breed. And that is a huge problem because those dogs were always a problem in America. The American Pit Bull was never really a problem. The problem were the Staffordshire Terrier mixes. See, the Staffordshire Terrier is the first copycat 
of an American Pitbull Terrier. For you guys that don't know, the American Pitbull Terrier was established first, came from uh, fighting dogs, and it was established first. It was already a nanny dog at the time. And then the AKC, seeing the UKC, registered this dog that they gave it a name, American Pitbull Terrier, and they were jealous because their competition, there's interest in there. So they say, we're going to take the same pit bulls, we're gonna mix them with some mutts, and we're gonna create our own standard. Because these are desk people, profits, desk, and they have breeders, and they are breeders also themselves. And they wanna make money by selling dogs and stuff like that. Whatever is hot, they wanna sell it. There's a lot of guys that call me, uh, they breed bullies, they're like, yeah, Chico, you know, I used to be in the dogs, and you know, I know, I know you're the man, and uh, I breed bullies now, and, and but I want a dog for my children. I don't want my children to be raised with this much, but you know, I get $10,000, $8,000 for one of these much. I have to do it. People do that. People do that for profits. And people can say, Chico, you don't do it for profits? I'm almost like a non-profit organization. These dogs produce zero. The money, the time that I have invested in these dogs in the last 33 years, this is not a functional uh, uh, money-making anything at all, zero. We put so much on these dogs, so much is incredible. Now, let me tell you something, which is the point that I'm making this video. Those dogs come with bad genetics from people that are not capable to be called breeders. The same way you guys in your communities, in your society, call those fake dogs pit bulls, you also call yourselves dogmen, and you also call yourselves breeders, all fake. The breeders that you call breeders are just guys making profits. The registrations are just getting papers and making some, it's just the marketing, you understand? But the dogs are actually compared to great American people terriers like the ones we have, Atos from Busha, we Hero, Global Grand Those are mutts, those are mutts. The real American people terrier it's alive here at one, two, three pitbulls.com. Now we don't sell to breeders. And the reason why we don't sell to breeders is because breeders with registrations created all those muds, that double X, triple X, quadruple X, the giant, the mud, the show dog mud, all those muds were created by those people. So we do not want to work with breeders. We only work with people that want to enjoy them as pets because they're the most loyal dogs most balanced temperament, never a man biter, and they are the most gorgeous dogs. And they only go to about 60 pounds condition. Those are the real American Pebble Terriers. The moment you start bringing tons of people, you know, and they repeat themselves. Somebody might come in and make a great video with great graphics with a whole bunch of BS and lies. They promote the same thing. Then so another dummy comes in and copy that the stuff, make it again, make it again, make it again. The UK, uh, UK problem with dogs is the same problem United States have with XL bullies and all these muds mixes they called pit bulls. And they try to take the name that was already established for the American Pit Bull Terrier as a nickname. And they say, no, this is a blanket term. We'll take it as a blanket term. We'll take this as, as a term that it fits all the, the breeds, all the bully breeds. What is called a bully breed? Well, it's a whole bunch of muds. You put the word pitbull dog in Google and click images and you see it, all these muds. They're, they're not different breed. They're, they're just a whole bunch of muds. Mixed dogs with no. Now you're gonna say the pitbull is a mud because you can't, no, 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 let me explain to you something. The pitbull, the American pitbull terrier, the real pitbull has over 200 years of real dedicated men that apply continuous work process selection to create bloodlines is based on bloodlines. It's only the best male with the best male is the way it's supposed to happen. The moment you bring all these kennels with the fancy names and all these breeders and know-it-alls, that's when things get ruined. But between me and Carver, in me and Air Tudor, in most of the bloodlines that go back from my dogs, there's only five, six men. That's all it is. That's all it's, everybody else don't count. Everybody else, absolutely. Oh, this guy had this dog, that dog, they don't count. They were not fundamental. They were not uh, uh, transcendent enough for them to count. They were just guys that had that dog or had this dog or had the dog, but didn't count. They had a little experience with one champion, two champions maybe, but they don't count. They were not 
powerful enough that the leadership, the reach of the leadership was little. Their merits were little in comparison to the merits of the golden vein, Chico Lopez. But I can tell you this, the, the American Bilbo Terrier has 33 years in my hands. 33 years under my care, the American Pitbull Terrier. These are the real American Pitbull Terriers. And it looks like a different breed now. It really is almost like a different breed. If, do, if I am not a dogman, because everybody that calls the dog, every dummy that calls himself a dogman, and I say I'm not a dogman because I don't want to be mixed with them, and if those are Pitbulls, I have a brand new breed. Easy and simple. Now I tell you this, those dogs, they call American Pitbull Terriers because of the pedigree, it's like having someone that is a cousin, double cousin, uh, great, great, great grandson of Michael Jordan. And he has relationship by pedigree. That's how bloodlines work. If you didn't get the dog from the right man, you have only a relationship, only a wish that could be close to that. It's not a guarantee that you have something that is just like that. And that is the problem with pedigrees. People take these pedigrees as something that, oh, it's a guarantee. It has this like having gold, you understand? Having gold, oh, it's like 14 carat, it's 18 carat, but it's related, it's all gold. No, it's not, that's not how it works with the American Pebble Terrier. The first breeding out of my hands is already going down. That's how it works because there, there is a selection process that cannot be done by everyone. And that's why it's a breed that will not, la will not last forever. They keep you you keep using the name of the dog, but the quality will not be lasting forever. For, for today, those people that got the dog from me, for instance, enjoy. It. The American Pebble Terrier has zero aggression. 33 years under my care. By the time I came into the picture and I make my selection, they had at least 40 years of selection from other people, 30 years in some cases, 25 years in some cases, but they had a development by other men that also gave their lives before I came in, old timers before me. I grabbed those dogs and I did. So between me and them, we have 60 years, 50 years to 60 years of best development of a bloodline. You don't have that on those XL mods. They started this project, this BS project. Some children started this in 1985 and has never became better. He only the worst. Take a look at the pictures you guys have online. They look like frogs. They look like masters. They look like something else. And you can play all kinds of gimmick games and create something that will go, you know, on, on, on YouTube or uh, on Netflix and the giant pit bull. And, you know, those are all mutts. Very dangerous dogs. And they train them for uh, human aggression. No, we train them for protection. Tell me, you train that one for protection and there's something called epigenetics that you need to study, epigenetics. That dog will have children and those dogs will be aggressive towards people in general. And when those puppies that are also 120 pounds hit somebody, an old lady or a child and killed it, then laws like the ones in England come in. But in England, they have all these geniuses, masters of the universe. And in Ireland too, oh, we created this. You kept the mutts. You kept the mutts. And, and then you took the mutts from America and brought them back to you. Your laws prevent you from having the real American Pebble Terrier back into your land because you killed the name American Pebble Terrier, but then you took the mutts as XL bullies. Share this video with everyone in the UK. They got mutts in the UK. Share this with everyone that cares about any type of so-called bully breeds or mutts. American Pitbull Terrier, 123pitbulls.com. My name is Chico Lopez. You don't have to like me, but I promise you my numbers, my merits, my journey is what you are going to respect once you learn who I am and what I have done for the breed. God bless you.